Welcome back to Captain Score Plays Hellblade Center with Sacrifice. My name is Kevondre. My name is Bobby. And last time we crept through the darkness and also some blood. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Why didn't we do that? I don't know. We're dumb. Um, and yeah, so Big Pepper Garm, he is following us in the dark. Yes. Um, and now it is time to go through this door. And yeah. it's going to be an exciting time. Yeah. So pretty much open the door, then run, bitch! Open the door, get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. I super wish that was the actual thing. It is. It's a trap. The beast is coming. It's a trap. Oh, and it's not even him. a cute pupper. Well, fuck you, Gar. Move, Senua. <laughs> it is a very uncute pupper. We. Rip. Without his head, you will never bring his soul back. His fate is sealed. <laughs> now we can see you at your weakest. The time you suffered as a child at the hands of your father seemed no one kind for Dillian. Yeah, you remember the darkness, anymore? You merely the adopted the darkness. It back. I was a pupper in it. <laughs> Your mom's not real, we just heard that. This darkness... It's spreading. Father's keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I won't give up. I'm not going to rot in here. Okay, so you said go right? Yeah, you gotta shimmy along to the right. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy to the brick of dawn, yeah. Oh, shimmy, shimmy. Go, go, go. You know that, that pupper was chasing us. Saying, oh, it's gonna get you. You know. And it showed it chasing us by it starting off in the light. Yeah. I'm fairly certain it can just walk through the light. I'm fairly certain that Garm was just a figment of her imagination. Well, as is probably this entire game. Yeah, probably. She is just high as a kite. Yeah. High as a kite. Okay. Uh, shout out to Elton John returning. Yeah. Proceed down, down those stairs, follow the hallway as it curves to the right, and down another flight of stairs. You legs it through a broken gate, back into the round room, a floor down from where you started. Go to your left, while you walk across a point, across a gap, near a small waterfall. To the other side, turn to your left, and duck under that. R. Yeah. So yeah, go do that thing, and uh, you're probably about to get shanked. Am I? Oh. I know how much you love the battle in this game, so I, I didn't warn you too much on purpose. Get out of the way, anyway. Move aside! I like that the shield has like a proper moving like, buckler on it and all that stuff. But that's kind of cool. Get out of there! It's gonna blow! Fuck you! Why won't you load your focus? Oh, she just lost her hubby. It's hard to focus when that happens. 
she lost him a long time ago. She was just carrying around his skull on her butthole. Look, man, we all have coping mechanisms. And if you need to carry around a skull on your butthole, then... <laughs> I mean, I always do. <laughs> <laughs> then I guess that's what you just have to do. That's right, bitch! That's right, bitch! Oh, it didn't mean anything. It was all legit. I'd like to focus, though. I'd love to do that. How about you just let me focus? There we go. We good? Nope, there's many more. Hi. That's right. That's right. That's fucking right. Get out of my life. Got to get you out of my life. Nobody likes you. Nobody likes your face. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, get him. Get him, get him, get him. Fuck that foot. Stab him right in it. Anyway. Fucking more spectral friends. Oh my leg, that is not fucking fair. Yeah, that's pretty mean. What the fuck? Yeah, Shadow Demon. No! Attack the fucking real one! Son, you, you stupid cunt. Okay. Yeah. The battle system of this thing is... It's fucking ass! It is, like, the worst battle system. Well, Sicker Star, but... <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair. Okay, we done? Good. You're done. Pick up this thing. <sighs> Fucking Christ. Turn that R backwards and we'll look for corn. Let's do it. Go up these stairs. Uh, hold on, I'm doing a thing. This, this motherfucker just tw sitting here tweeting when he's like supposed to be the guy in the chair. Yeah. It's fun. Look, we said a thing and I had to tweak it. Shut up. Okay, uh, after the fight, we're back to the room door, then take the stairs to the right of the room door. Follow a path at the top, light the fire pit with your torch. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go back down the stairs, turn left, and exit the room the way you came in. After you dunk, duck, duck under the beam, <laughs> uh, to exit the room, turn left at the waterfall. Yes, I see it. Yes. Return to the room door to go through. I believe in a thing called runes. Just for some <laughs> Did you just do that Overwatch shit where she's like, aim everywhere? Yeah. I love it when they do the camera view and you can see like a demon doing that. It's just like, what the hell are you doing, buddy? You want, you want to see some bullshit? Yeah. This is some bullshit. But, as you can see, there is room on the side of the waterfall to move the torch around, but she's not going to do that. Yeah, you could even move the torch just really fast, and I'm sure it'd be fine. Or cover it with your arm or right? something, but it's going to be gone, and I'm going to have to fucking run on it. Yes. <sighs> this fucking bullshit game. Yeah. There we are. Okay. Alright. Just gotta turn right, go down a small flight of stairs, turn right again, tight rope across that beam, ignoring the much wider beam to the right. Yes. <coughs> yeah. Oh, 
As you enter the lecture, there's a jail cell with iron barns bars onto the right. Go into the cell to find the war stuff. Oh. Rian the dwarf's sole yeah. desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafner's gold, and the good hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rian would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rian reforges the Finn's sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rian go in search of Fafnir. I see. Oh, yeah. I know where things are in my home, too. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, exit there, go back down. Alright, um, you're gonna have to jump down, which means there's no going back. You're gonna wait there, keep an eye out for that torch, because behind the torch is another rune stone. Oh, yes, I see. The dragon Fafnir is so large and deadly that it would be impossible to kill him face to face. But each day, Fafnir crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait for him. When Fafnir slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit and Fafnir sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death as it led to the death of all. Sigurd replies that death comes to us, and every man would want to be wealthy until that day. And he takes the treasure. Okay. A whole lot of faffin, if you ask me. Yeah. Say to the door, activate the puzzle. There's a fire pit nearby. Where's a fire pit? Light it with your torch. How about you light it with your torch? There you go. <laughs> um, flame from the pit will shine on the coast nearby to create half the room. Yeah, I see it. I don't have to go through the stupid water. Yeah. Let's see. But before you do, there's another task you need to complete, apparently. Okay. Turn to your right from the waterfall and go back toward the place where you jump down into this area, and you'll find a small tunnel. left a little bit. Not quite in the pit. Aha. Alright, now hold on. Let me read this next bit because uh, there was some bullshit down here about something else. Um, yes. Enter the tunnel and follow it. Cinema will duck down as the tunnel veers left. When you exit, you'll be in a barred area. So if you turn right a bit, should be a fire pit coming up here somewhere. What's she doing? Fire pit. She's making a hole. She's got light on the other side. She'll be safe. Okay. Now, now apparently you need to just go back to the room door. Okay. I understand. You comprehend? I comprehend, my dear Hastings. It saves us some trial and error in dying, I guess. Yeah. I'm good without dying. I kind of like watching you die, but you've done it so much on this game. I've done it very little in this game. So much. Just like a couple times in the first 
couple episodes. Like, and uh, then uh, once last episode. See, now I can say whatever I want and be like, yeah, you just very cleverly edited it out. He's really good at that shit. <laughs> but I'm also, I can prove all of that. Can you? I have the footage. Can you? Yeah. Very clever. Look, editing. again, just put the torch around the water. It's not even going there. Yeah. Way to be dumb, Senua. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, well, I'm gonna die. Here it is. Death. I don't know where I'm going. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is the guide. Back at the ruined door, prepare yourself to go through the waterfall. This mm -hmm. is very dangerous. Naturally, as you go through the waterfall, your torch will go out. Senua is not smart enough to just pass the torch through the bars nearby to keep it dry. Yeah. Uh, with the torch out, you'll need to run to the nearest light. However, the game sometimes flashes hallucinations because it sucks. Uh, oh, I think I need to go relight that other one again. Probably. I've had these hallucinations take up the entire screen, completely blinding me so that I cannot, s could not see to get to the light in time. You need to know right where you're going so that if you can't see, you can still make sure you're moving in the right direction. After you go through the waterfall, the light is far off to your right. What's she doing? She's lighting. She's making light. She's making light. She's got light on the other side. What's the problem? So after we go through the waterfall, unnecessarily letting the fire go out, turn right, run, and apparently you're going to smack into a bridge, and that knocks down the bridge. Okay. So that way. Yes. And this is where I came in before. Yes. Cool. <sighs> where is she going? Faster, faster, keep going, keep going. Stop. Shut the fuck up. Okay. So now that it's got the whole thing, I can go back through the waterfall, but I go directly to the light, so I'm good to go. Yes. It's not even like it's, like, not light over here. Yeah, I know. Bullshit. You can do the thing, and you activate the next door. Okay. How about you do it? Sanua? She's in- oh. Yeah. Got it. Then I have to go do this. Do it. Sanua? Yeah, that's the right spot. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, game. All the times you were specific as fuck before, that time you were just like, no, you're kinda in there. Yeah. Close enough. Okay. Go through the door, follow the tunnel beyond, and turn right to proceed for a ways before turning left. I wish that the light would catch up with me. The longer it Elephant. Hey, lower stuff. The more she convinced herself that there was nothing beyond its reach. How little separates us from what we fear. I barely hear like anything on this one. Yeah, because the voices were talking. Okay. He burns his finger. Without thinking, he licks his finger and tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby. Okay. If we've read a Douglas Adams book, you know, bird talk is incredibly boring. Yeah. Anyways, uh, continue following the path as a turn left. Soon you come to a hole in the ground marked by white paint. That's not paint. Keep the torch up. 
There we go. Yeah, that's obviously the right thing. Okay. Now hold on, because I kind of want to read this next bit because he has a big fucking warning here. Okay. After jumping in the hole, path twists and turns a little bit, but there's only one direction you can do go. Follow the twisting tunnel forward, and eventually you will come to a small tunnel entrance as the path turns left. Senua has to lay down on her belly and scoot through this tunnel. As you're crawling along the water, eventually you pass underneath a small stream of water that will put your torch out. During that crawling bit, you apparently get stuck on weird random shit. So this bit's gonna suck. Yeah. That just about describes this game. Yeah. So the torch isn't out quite yet. No. You get to go forward a bit, then you're gonna have to crawl on your belly, and then it's gonna go up. And I'm gonna get stuck on stuff while it's out? Yep. Oh god. That's what I'm getting stuck on. And I'm just like, yeah, just keep shaking it back and forth a bit if you don't think you're making progress. Because it is dark as fuck, and it's really hard to even tell if you're making progress or not. And again, there's just so much room for you to not put the fire out. was way easier than the thing that it could delete. Maybe it was patched. No. Alright, first you hits like a tank as fast as fuck and you're probably gonna die a bunch. or focus with light attacks. That thing is just ugly. Yeah. He's not a cute pupper. No. One out of ten. It's a bad pupper. That, that's unfair. It's still a ten out of ten. He, he attacked. He, he, he can't help that he's ugly. He's just doing what he does. Focus to find him. That is not a one shot kill. That is not a one shot kill. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you serious? I fucking hate this game, dude. Yeah. If her arm does the thing and we lose all progress, that's it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't think you're going to die that many times. I'm just, you know, letting you know that oh, yeah. if that is a thing that happens, I'm not continuing. That's fair. Right in the dick. Yeah. I don't want to appropriate it. Are you fucking serious right now? Okay. And I wasted my fucking focus. I can't find him because I don't have a way to find him. Oh.
Where the fuck did he go? It is saying that you cannot track him. The best thing that you can do is wait for the camera to snap back out and then dodge. Oh, I got him. Seriously? Yeah, I got the achievement. All right. People think of evil as an unnatural, invisible force. And so invoke the gods for protection. But evil can come from the hand behind the gods. A familiar hand. Cold and cruel. He tried to fix her with his rituals. Kept her trapped in that hole. She couldn't say which was worse. The darkness. Or the monster that her father had become. She couldn't fight them both. And so she left. Headed for the one ray of light that shone down on her. If she had stayed, she wouldn't have survived. Maybe Delian would still be alive. I'm so sorry, Lena. She will save his soul. Even if this time she can't save her own. Forgive me, Senua. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore. But believe this. That's very fair. Yeah. You're kind of a dick, spooky voice. Passion so great if you focus your mind on this question. Control, go there. Sweet. Now come on a huge red room with multiple levels. There are fireworks. Damn, that's pretty. Yeah. I mean, this game does look very pretty. Okay. Uh, turn to your left and move along the cliffs past a large burning fire pit. I won't let the darkness trick me again. And stone ladder with iron rungs. Yep. I know you're safe with the gods. Climb the ladder at the top, turn left, and climb. I can feel Hannah's gaze searching for secrets inside of me. Secrets that even I can't see. Yeah, you know, and just follow the path. I'm not here to fight my past. Then it should be a right through a tunnel. I'm here for Dillian. When you come to a split in the road, start by turning right. I will fulfill my vow. So she's not scared of the darkness anymore, right? Pretty much. I mean, the, the Fenrir Graham thing was a Garn. It was the one doing that. So he's dead. Ragnarok. The destiny of the gods. First, there will be a terrible winter, three years long. Then, mankind will turn on itself. Brothers will fight each other to the death, and people will forget what they owe their kindred. Times will be hard. Crimes will be great. It will be an age of axes and swords. The wind will blow through abandoned halls. Wolves will walk where children played. The world will fall into ruin. Okay. Oh, 
That's too bad. Yeah. Head up the spiral staircase to the room above. Go through the room and turn left. This game goes so much faster with a guide. Yes, yes it does. And but I know it's probably less exciting to watch. Um, you know, with him, with him telling me what to do, but at the same time, you it, know, fuck it, right? It's the only way we're going to get through this game. Let's yeah. be realistic. It, it's not fun enough to motivate us to do it any yeah. other way. Exactly. Not this way. To the left. Yep. Uh, heading out onto a balcony overlooking the large round room. You're a large round room. My dick's a large round room. That's weird. Yeah. I was surprised. I was just bored that way. Doctor you, was like, what the fuck? And then you were just like, I don't know, man. It's weird, right? Yeah, I said that as I was born. I agree. Uh, there's a broken bridge down below, and from this vantage, you can line up some of the pieces to repair it. Oh. Yeah, just gotta do that thing. Gotta find it just right. There you go. I don't think I got them all, though. So do I go back down? Um, do, 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 do. Yeah. There, that's... you got to do that, apparently, all over this place to fix that bridge. Cute. <laughs> By the way, you're about to be attacked. Oh, yay. You fucking ass. You are a dick. Shit in your hat, tree. Never stop hating this old tree, man. <laughs> shit in your branches, sir. Yeah. Well, that's where you're supposed to shit. No, you don't shit in the branches. I mean, like, they don't have outhouses and shit back then. They just shit in the tree. Did he? Oh, what the fuck? Oh. That dude's a dick. I agree. Fucking shaman ass motherfucker. God. You fucking bitch. Get the fuck up. Is that anyone? Oh, my leg. Fuck it. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Oh my god, I hate these fucking shamans. I can't focus, dude. I don't have the fucking focus. There we go. You are not the guy. You're not capable of being the guy. I had a guy, but now I don't. You are not the guy. Block Senua! This game has the shittiest fucking fighting. It's Jesus. really bad. Christ on a fucking biscuit. Open this door. Okay, I guess don't do that. Yeah, you just go back to the way you came. I wish that she had a flashlight. That's not the way I came. Oh, it's open now. Alright, and you're gonna come back out in the large round room in the center. No one can bargain with Ella. Sure you can. You can totally bargain with Ella. Ella! I've come to bargain! <laughs> Door meow meow. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we're going to give this game the most outstanding reviews. I'm probably not going to review it. Oh, that's fair. Uh, do Go out into the hall and pull it all the way forward. And then tightrope walk across the beam. Which will take you to the base of the bridge. Which, of course, you can't cross, because right. this game just can't have a good thing. No. Um, do, 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 do. 
face the outer wall and you'll see a tunnel. This isn't just a broken bridge, is it? Mother. Why would you go that way? You showed me how to see further. So that way or that way? Wonders in our world. I don't know. New paths this is a shitty instruction. Let's go this way. So that may follow, oh no, wait, you were right here. To warn so that they may avoid. This way? That no, the other way. Gift and our duty. I'm not Look, this guide isn't very helpful. It's a shit guide, but it's the best one that's out there. So you turn right there. Boom. And there's a gentleman. Yeah. And then there's only two left of these guys. And Odin will speak with the severed head of Mimi. The I like the, the Lord's Dance. It's the only good part. The gods will assemble. The dwarves will leave their stones. The frost giants will come from the east. The Midgard serpent will turn up the waves. Eagles will scream and tear at the corpses with their yellow beaks. The ship of the dead will set sail. This sounds like a good time. Yeah. Made for an okay movie. Okay, now that we got that lower stone, now it is go back and turn right up the stairs. Got it. Now you should be able to turn around and take another set of stairs up further. No. Oh. Yeah, I there we go. Cold word is Rochambeau. Feel me? Dig me? Whatever. Whoever you are. Who are you? Yeah. Apparently, this is another bridge spotty thingy. Is it? Yeah, that bit. Okay. She's an X Man. She transitioned. Okay. See, like this guy's like, hey, go back towards the bridge, walk out all the way to the edge of the bridge. It's broken. You cannot progress. Turn back around. I is it going to activate a cutscene? I. Uh, that's my assumption. It would be really helpful if it mentioned that. There's an illusion. She's found a way. There's a way. She can see. She was telling herself. She can do it. There's the door. She finds herself. It's there. Nope. Yeah. Just a big old waste of time. Look up to your left as you go. There's a stone thing. Oh, that bit. See where it's the illusion bit there? Yeah, I see it. Am I supposed to be at the end, at the end of the bridge for that? Uh, uh, pretty probably pretty close. There we go. That's pretty close. Come on, do the thing. Thank you. I see. And now you can just go back up there. Yeah. Mm. Slowly backtracking and doing some stupid puzzles. It's my favorite. Yeah, this is totally your type of game. Yep, I love it. But we're almost at the, the end, so far. Go to the tunnel, take a stairway the down, come out into a room with a couple of jail cells, turn to your right to find that. The steel to Asgard that carries the fire giants, the wolf that will eat the sun, and all kinds of dark creatures. Surt will join them with his sword of fire. The cliffs will crash. Trolls will walk the land. Men will tread the road to hell. Oh, well. And the heavens will spill. <laughs> <open. laughs> yeah, if we solve that problem. Yeah, yeah that's a whole thing. Exit cell, go to the far side of the room. The door straight ahead is locked from the other side. There's a small hole in the wall to your right. Go through. Come on, another small round room with a spiral staircase going around the edge. Gotta love this walking simulator. Yeah, it's so good. That's all. Moving on up. Moving on up. It's very good times. Is it? Yeah, I love how it's all just, you know, stone. How it started out all vivid and colorful, 
even if it's been repetitive. All right, so you're probably gonna want to go through that door and get your ass kicked. That sounds likely. Second axe breed is gonna spawn it's behind you. Yo, I killed that guy, he didn't even touch me. Yeah. Fucking hate that shit. Nice. Yo. Okay. You uh, you did good on that. I wrecked it. All right. So, uh, to, 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 to. after the fight, look for a small triangular tunnel. A tent. Leading back out to the main room. And from this piece of... Yeah, I can do this thing. Yeah. Pritchy bridge. There you go. Turn the way you came, but when you get back out to the spiral staircase, go turn up. right. Yeah. And continue going up further. Hamburger. Hamburger. Alright, and this is the last lore stone. If we hadn't missed any, Odin this would be the end of it. Right. Would be killed, but his son will avenge him. Punch his sword to the heart of the beast. Freyr will face sight, but he had given his sword away for none. Without it, he cannot defend himself against the flames. Thor will smite the Midgard serpent to no avail. The sun will grow black. The earth will sink into the sea. The stars will disappear. Fire and water will meet. Steam will shoot up. Flames will play against the sky. The heavens and earth and all the world will be burned. All the gods will be dead. And the warriors of Valhalla and the people everywhere. Senua, prepare yourself for Ragnarok. Or it is nigh. The end is nigh. Yeah. We watchmen now. Yeah. Alright, so let's go back out to the bridge, and I think we can call that, and then have the next bit be the final episode. Cool, that works for me. Unless you just want to keep going. I mean, we have enough shout outs for the third episode. Uh, and besides, you know, we gotta space this stuff out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I dig it. Right? You gotta have the proper, you know, final episode. Not, hey, final episode, but it's two hours long because we just already kept playing. <laughs> Look. Fuck you. We've done it before. Yeah, we have. And those are the episodes that's hardest for me to get through. Mother 3 finale? Oof. That's three fucking hours long. Yeah. Alright. You want to call it right here? Yes. Okay. That All works right. five me. So, you know, pretty productive. We solved the little room puzzles to get access to the bridge. Did some battles. You know, dealt with the aftermath of Pupper. Got the final lore stone. Mm hmm. So, yeah. Good shit. Learned about Ragnarok. Yep. We only missed eight collectibles in this whole game. Yeah. So that's not too bad. Considering that, you know, we weren't even looking for them for the first bit. Exactly. <laughs> so we're good. We're All good. Right. So those two were shout outs. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start, All if right. you don't mind. That's fine. Uh, last night, the 13th? Last night, as the at the time of this recording. Yeah. Which last is a couple weeks ago. Right. So, for us, it was April 13th. We're yes. recording this on the 14th. Uh, Soul played Gladiators. In Overwatch. In Overwatch League. 
and it was a great fucking match. Oh my god, it, it was, was awesome. really intense. It was hell good. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. And seeing them both on Blizzard World, and they're just like, uh, we're not sure. We're not comfortable with this yet. Yeah, <laughs> it was great. But uh, Soul for me had a player that stood out that I wasn't expecting. Uh, Flatty got sick after the first match. Apparently, he just got like super exhausted, and even had to go like see the team nurse, and he tapped out. Mm-hmm. Munchkin stepped in. And Munchkin is a bitch of a widow. He oh stepped the fuck out on Junkertown. It was great. On Junkertown, he was mean, and I loved it so much. Yeah. Poor Shorefor, who I would say is generally a better Widowmaker. Yeah, he just... Not that time. <laughs> no. Uh, I deal feel bad for Wakid. Yeah. He, he kept getting killed by tracers. Wakid was just getting fucking destroyed. Yeah, he, he kept trying to junk, and he's a good junk rat, but... They targeted his ass. They like, didn't nope. know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. So, but Munchkin really stepped up. It got to round five, and I think a lot of that was because Munchkin did as well as he did. He did, yeah. And so, then Gladiator still won. Gladiator still won, but it was a great, great match. Mm-hmm. And though I'm a Dynasty supporter, and you're a Gladiator supporter. Right. I still appreciate a good match. We support each other's teams. So, yeah. I mean, the only time that we ever come head-to-head about it is when they're facing each other. And it was still an excellent game. Yeah, so I'm happy with how it turned out. In a similar vein, I'm going to do a shout-out to a Gladiator. Yep. Um, and he's the initial reason that I liked that team in the first place. I'm going to do a shout-out to Shaz, who is a Zenyatta main, though sometimes he hops on the Moira, and I think he w- went on like the Roadhog yesterday. Yeah, that was different for him. Very strange. I've seen, that I've seen him do Widow before, but generally he's a Zenyatta main. And he's not as, uh, he's not as aggressive as like um, Jonak? Jonak from yep. NYXL, but he's he's still a very very good Zenyatta. Um and I love him. And one day I will buy a jersey with his name on it, and I'd love to wear that all the time. Yeah. Um, and he he came all out. And sometimes I watch his 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 own streams when he's not you know doing OWL stuff. He's he's just you know playing himself. You know just for training or just fun or whatever. Yeah. And I watched him not long ago and he was on Twitch. And it was great because he's just kind of talking to people. His voice reminds me of Raboz, which I didn't expect. Uh, he's talking to people. He's People say, oh, fuck that. And he's like, don't say that word. Um, and then, but then the chat was asking him, why don't you use a webcam? And he's just like, because I like to be able to pick my nose and not have to worry about people seeing it. Yes. And I'm like, that's exactly fair. It's a fair point. I don't think it's as good as our excuse. I mean, just we don't want to. Because we're ugly. Well. Right. Boy, our, we got faces for radio. Faces for radio. For podcasts. Radio is not a thing. Ten years ten years from now, people are going to be listening to this and be like, what the fuck is radio? You know? Yeah. What the fuck is Overwatch League? <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, anyway. But, so... Shout out to Shaz, shout out to uh, Munchkin. They they fucking killed it last night. But uh, alright guys, we will catch you next time on the l- probable last episode of this series. Don't know if it'll be long or short or what, but yeah, I'm going to cross this bridge and go say what's up with it to hella bitches. It's going to be great. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.